Hi there, my name is Lee Haywood. In this series of screencasts, we're going to set up a DIY website using WordPress. Now, WordPress is a content management system, and a content management system in terms of the internet is a web based application that lets you edit, delete, and otherwise control the content and layout of your website. You don't need to understand HTML or have a degree in programming, you don't need to be a designer, you don't really need to know anything at all about web design because WordPress makes it quite simple for you. And to get us started, what you're going to need to do is register for a hosting account because you're going to need somewhere to host your WordPress account and you're going to need a domain name. So you can either visit my website drhaywood.co.uk and click the link in the left hand bar for hosting or you can go directly to hostpapa.co.uk and you'll see they've got a special offer on at the moment, $4.99 a month, free setup and a domain name for life. Now this is only if you go for the yearly plan and if you do go for the yearly plan you do save up to 55% over the period of the year. Once you've signed up you should receive the welcome pack email and this will give you your cPanel account login which is what we're going to use next. More importantly it will give you details about your domain name and you will see from the email that the domain name can take anywhere up to 72 hours to replicate across the internet so at this part of, at this point in the presentation you might want to hit pause and wait for a day. Once you've received your email click the cPanel link and with your username and password log in and you should see something similar to this. If we move down the list until we find software services I want you to click Fantastico and Fantastico is really just a script installation tool it automates installing various web applications and takes away the need to have to manually install the scripts and set up the databases yourself so if we locate WordPress click WordPress and you'll see this window here then click on new installation now your new domain name should already be highlighted here you don't need to provide a directory if you want to have a subdirectory for your blog for example your domain name forward slash blog then go ahead and put that subdirectory name there otherwise just go ahead and put in the various details here so you're going to need your administrator username and a password make the password something that can't be guessed you're going to need to provide an admin nickname an email address a website description and site name and when you're done click install WordPress so a quick read through the details there once you're happy with that click finished ins click finish installation now you'll get an email with all this information in so don't worry about having to write it down for now and that's it once you've done this once you've completed this final step your website is now live it's ready for you to start adding and editing content and that's what we're going to cover in the next tutorial for now let's do a quick recap first you're going to need to go to hostpapa.co.uk and register for a hosting account. It doesn't have to be Host Papua, this is just a service that I recommend. Go for a yearly account because you get a free domain and free setup. Within a couple of hours you'll, received a, you'll receive a welcome pack email so you then need to go to your cPanel and that link will be in the email itself. Click Fantastico and then from the sidebar menu options click WordPress and start the installation process. Once that's done, as long as your domain has gone live, and this, as I said, normally takes 72 hours, but once your domain has gone live, you will be able to see your, your website almost identical as it is there. So in the next tutorial, we're going to look at adding and editing content. And thank you very much for watching.